Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about pictures, determination, and a message I received about that recent video where we were talking about how different things hit different generations in a different way. Um, even though it's not really generations, it's age groups. And uh, we're going to go through the message. And then, well, we'll go through the first part, a little commentary, and then the second part. And if you missed that video, it was talking a lot about how, about how people who were around and witnessed Ethiopia in the 80s saw that coverage, how that is influencing how they respond to current events today. Here's the message. Hello, Boomer Bo. <laughs> you're over 30, you're a boomer to us. I thought your reasoning was not good. But then I read the comments under that video, and all of your fellow boomers were talking about the different things they remember from back then. I made the mistake of looking up a few. And then I got to the vulture picture everybody was talking about, and I get it now. Are these pictures or videos trauma memes? Things that everybody just knows. Trauma memes. I never would have used that term, but it's a good one. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. They're images that evoke an idea or an emotion. And if you were exposed to it, you recognize it, and you're aware of its meaning. That's, that's a really good term and a very unique observation. Um, and just like memes of today, get ready for a twist, they often uh, lose their origin. If you're not familiar with the photo, it's a photo of a vulture looking at a child. It is a, it's a pretty powerful photo. It's not from Ethiopia. It's from years later in Sudan. But because Ethiopia was so defining, all famine, all of that imagery gets evoked in the same way. It brings up the same things, the tune of we are the world, all of that. Um, the, uh, that photo is symbolic of that entire period and it, it, it didn't originate where most people think it did. And the only reason I know this is because I looked into the photographer and if you want to talk about moral injury, should probably look him up. His name's uh, Kevin Carter. The rest of the message. I also looked up moral injury. And if I understand the way you're using it, I disagree again. Part of the definition is fails to prevent. Nah, F that. We're stopping this. Good. Anyway. It's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.